A Mississippi death row inmate is asking the Supreme Court to throw out his death sentence after being tried six times for the murder of four people. Curtis Flowers claiming racial prejudice, and as NBC10 DC correspondent Drew Petromo reports, it's prompted the court's only black justice to break a three-year silence on the bench. The line to watch stretch from the Supreme Court down the sidewalk, proof that a Mississippi murder case has gained national attention. Curtis Flowers has been tried six times for the 1996 killings of four people at a furniture store in Winona. Defense attorney Sherry Johnson says the case is plagued with racial bias by the man who prosecuted every trial. In the first four trials, Doug Evans used 36 out of 36 strikes to get rid of African American jurors. Illegally removing black jurors led to one of Flowers' convictions being overturned. Others were thrown out for improper evidence or ended in mistrials. On Wednesday, lawyers for Flowers asked the U.S. Supreme Court to toss out the conviction and death sentence from his sixth trial. They say Evans again illegally dismissed potential black jurors. And the evidence of that is included in his history, in the disparate questioning, in his disrespectful treatment of African American jurors. Prosecutors acknowledge past mistakes but say the sixth trial was fair. Lawyers representing the state of Mississippi argued potential black jurors were removed from the jury pool for legal reasons. Some new members of Flowers' family or made false statements on jury questionnaires. Lawyers for the state did not speak with reporters after the hearing, but inside, justices repeatedly challenged the prosecution's handling of the case. Justice Samuel Alito called the history troubling. Justice Sonia Sotomayor questioned why the state did not intervene to take Evans off the case. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo. And the defense told Justice Clarence Thomas that it had used preemptive strikes, those that the court allows to exclude jurors without having to give reasons. Justice Thomas then asked the race of those excluded. The answer, all white.